everybody. I have a problem and that problem is called autumnitis. I've made it myself, I've, I've self-diagnosed. It's when you like autumn too much that in August you start kind of pretending that it's cold and wearing autumn clothes too early and that's what I'm doing. I've done it. Today we have a River Island haul. I've tried to make it very transitional. There are some pieces that are slightly more autumnal got some jeans but there are some things that can still be worn now even if it's a bit warmer these are all new in kind of from this week the week before got some tops got some trousers got a dress got a few bits so um without further ado let's go i might start off with this dress let's do this first ignore the fact that I'm, i look like i'm wearing a prison outfit just couldn't be bothered because it's quite summery so still kind of relevant it's a little denim smock dress haven't tried this on yet so let's put it on, see what we think, and we'll rejoin the class. Now this I got in petite, but it is available in regular heights as well. I'm not sure if they've got it in tall, but if they do, I'll link it below. And I got this in a six and it was 45 pounds. Oh, just, are we gonna struggle to do this one up, Maria? Oh no, I think we're okay. I think it's just a matter of, oh, there we go, are we at the top? I think we are. Oh, I like this. This is definitely petite, but actually I think this is really good because it's it's always like exactly where it should finish. Oh, I love this. Oh, I wish I had this earlier. Oh, I think this is cute. It's a little denim smock dress. It's 45 pounds, which is, yeah, a slightly more expensive price point for a high street dress but the quality of River Island stuff is lovely. Really thick white denim, and it's so nice. I like that it goes in here and gives it a bit of shape. Oh, I think this is so cute. And actually, for autumn, I would wear this. I should take these bed socks off, excuse me. I would wear this with some really chunky boots. These are River Island and I think might be in stock right now. So I'll link to them below if they are, but they are last year's. I really like wearing dresses and chunky boots. I don't care if I've got short legs and they make my legs look shorter. Like somebody once said to me, I don't care because I think it's cute. I'll show you. Can you see? I know you can't really see, but you kind of can. There you go. You can kind of see what I mean. I think this look is cool. I think this is an autumn transitional look with a boot. You know me, I like to wear my hat with a lot of things. I might put my hat with this if I was feeling a hat day. Ooh, I'm so pleased with this. I think this is cute and it's in petite, so it's quite short, but we like that, we like that. I also got these jeans, which are a mom style of jean. I think these are the carry jeans. I got these in a size eight and they are 42 pounds. I think River Island do some very good quality jeans and they do some good petite lengths for jeans which we like because we don't like our jeans to be too long on our short people. I've just popped back on this jumper that I had on at the beginning so I can show you these jeans. Let me move the camera down because I'm in an awkward position here and you can't see the bottom of these jeans. Here they are. You can see them now, can't you? Here are my legs. I really like these jeans. I think they are perfectly fitting. I like the rips, I'm doing a bit of ripped jeans at the minute. They are very good quality and I'm very happy with them. I think they are good. I'm pleased with them, I really am. Like I said, River Island jeans are very good quality. I think you pay for what you get and you do get good quality with River Island jeans. They will last through the seasons, but I think it's good to have them for autumn. Because you always need a couple of new pairs of jeans for autumn, don't you? I do anyway. I'm gonna change my trousers now. I'm gonna show you these, which I've already put on my Instagram. These are flares. Now I know I talk a lot about being short and these are too long for me. I will have to get them taken up at some point, but I have actually worn them uh, just to get a photo from my Instagram. And they did run along the floor a little bit, but I quite like the drama of that actually. I can't believe before now I didn't have a pair of flares in my wardrobe. I think these are great. I can't remember how much they were, but I'll link them below. I got these in a size eight. I'll put them on so you can see them. They've got an elasticated waist and they're this kind of like material. Uh, it's called like plisse or plis or, I don't know. I don't know what language I was attempting there. But um, yeah, got them in size eight. I'll link them below and then you can see how much they were. But they weren't, they weren't too expensive. They're just like a light trouser. Let's put those on 
and I'll put them on with this little top, which looks hilarious. This top looks like it was made for, for a very small rectangular body, but I've tried it on, I've worn it, and it does stretch out, so it'll make sense in a second. See, I swear, the top fits me. This top, actually, I got in a size six, and it is 20 pounds. I think these tops are really good for, like, a little basic to have that's a different colour. I think they've got them in a few colours. We'll link them below. And these are the flares. Let me show you the bottoms of these and you can understand what I mean. So you can kind of get the idea of what they're like. They are a bit long on me. I am five foot two. They are a bit long, but we'll get that fixed. I can't believe I didn't have flares in my wardrobe until now. I think they are fantastic. These are little like fabric trousers and they are so comfortable. I wore them with a blazer and I'll put, actually, I'll put in the photo, I wore them with a blazer and I think they make it look almost like a really like fancy suit, but they're just like this material, they're just such soft material. You could literally fly in them. Not fly as in you could fly, but you could get on a plane in them and be comfy. They are so comfortable, but they make you look a bit fancy. But I do need to get them taken up a bit. I don't know how they'd fare with a heel. Also, these tops, I would not wear these. Um, number one, I've got a bra on, which I probably shouldn't, but I wouldn't wear these on their own like this. I would wear this like with a blazer over the top, just so everything here is kind of covered. So you've just got like this little colorful section in the middle coming out to play. But yeah, I honestly, I love these flares. I think they're great. They're so comfortable. And I think once you've got like a blazer over the top, you're all sorted. Like I've had a big lunch today and we're all right. Nothing's uncomfortable, nothing's too tight. You can get everything on. So um, yeah, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with these. Two more items. These are actually very exciting, but I think what we'll go for first, oh, <laughs> unpredictable. Who knows where I'm gonna go next? I think we're gonna go for this next. Now, for somebody that doesn't like the tops of their arms, I've, I've been making a lot of questionable choices today, haven't I? This is one of these new t-shirts that have shoulder pads in them. I've seen them everywhere. I've seen them in like Zara and stuff. Can you see like, there's the shoulder pad. This is the River Island version. It's got a little River Island logo. I got this in an eight and it's 16 pounds. Again, lovely quality t-shirt. You've got the shoulder pad in there. So there's been some work that's gone into these. I really don't know how I feel. I don't know if I get along with this trend, but it is a trend at the minute. So I thought, try it, see what you think and we can assess the situation as we go. So let's try that on, and then I will show you the final piece at the end. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I'm gonna put these on, or should I? I'm going to, I'm gonna put these on. <laughs> these are a little silk jogger, or like satin jogger. These are a size eight and they were 36 pounds. And they have an elasticated waist and a little elasticated cuff. So they are a jogger, they've got pockets as well here. They are a jogger, but they're like a fancy jogger. They're like if like a businesswoman was wearing a jogger, she'd wear joggers like this, wouldn't she? So I'm gonna try these on. I'm gonna put them with this top because I think they'll look best with this top. And then we'll go back and do the other top. Sorry for being indecisive. That's not usually me. I think these silk joggers are great. I think they pass for like slightly, smarter than a jogger so you could go to like lunch in these or something but you wouldn't look like you were wearing joggers see they're good aren't they you know just a little bit the idea of a silk jogger is a really good idea making comfortable trousers suitable for more things than joggers are like you couldn't if you were going for lunch with someone nice lunch you wouldn't say i would wear a jogger but i think you could wear a silk jogger don't you casual lunch I think so. I think these are really good. These are something that number one will not get old. Like they're not a trend piece. And I think that's quite important. Like they're 36 pounds, I think, which is like enough. Like it's, it's, a, it's a decent price, but it's not massively cheap, but they're something that you'll get a lot of wear out of. So we like that. Let's try on this t-shirt that I don't know if I will be sure on or not. And um, let's give it a go. Here we have the shoulder pad t-shirt what do we think what do we think of this i just don't know i don't know if i like this trend i don't i really i'm not entirely sure 
This was £16 and I got it in a size 8, just for reference. I do think they look really good on some people. I've seen them on other people and I've thought, oh, that looks nice. But I just think on me, I don't really like them. I think I will wear it and I think I'll get use of it. But I don't know. I do think maybe if you particularly like your shoulders or your arms, you might be like, yeah, I want to get one of them. I don't, so I don't know. I do think they're cool. I think they're a really cool concept and I do like a really structured shoulder. So I think that's kind of where I was going with it. But I don't know, it might have to grow on me, but you know what? It's not too bad, is it? You know, there's casual, casual look. So that was everything. A little bit of a kind of semi-transitional haul. I think those flared trousers should could be good with some boots, actually, I forgot to say that. So I think a couple of these bits could be kind of autumnized. I think I wore these the other day with a trench and I think that works quite well, but definitely you can get used to these now if the weather is warm. So kind of like a late August, September haul, that's what we're going for. As always, I will link all of the pieces in the description if you wanna shop any of them. Um, if you have any questions about any of them, let me know. Let me know what your favourite piece was in the comments. I'd quite like to know what people's favourite item of the haul was. I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye from me.